Thanks everyone for joining us today. We have Jasmine Jones, then we'll have Kylie Shook. If you have questions, please raise your hand and we will get started. Um, let's kick things off with Jeff Magliocchetti. Hi Jasmine, thank you for joining us today. It seems like we've only just begun, but there's shockingly only two weeks left in this season. So what are you guys looking to accomplish as a team as we go into these fateful final two weeks? Every single day and be better than we was yesterday. Thank you. Rafik Lewison. Hey Jasmine, um, I understand you got like literally six or seven games left before the end of the, it was a short regular season. Like, why don't you explain what's it like playing inside the bubble of a 22 game season? Um, I mean, I really, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but being in this bubble is definitely mentally draining uh, because you're not with family and friends. And like right now, I know for me personally, I'm really missing my family a lot right now. Um, just not being able to go out and have a good time and not think about basketball because that's all that's here in this bubble is just basketball practice and games. So it's definitely mentally draining. Ben Rosoff. Hey, Jasmine. Um, I saw that you were wearing a mask uh, in the first quarter of the game the other day. Uh, can you just tell us what, what that was about? Are you, are you injured in any way, or was that some kind of tribute, or what's, what's up? Um, I keep getting hit in my face. And so the two games before the, the first Connecticut game, I got hit in my nose. In the Connecticut game, when they called a foul on me, when it should have been an offensive foul, I got hit in my nose pretty hard. The game after that, I got hit in my nose pretty hard. In practice, I've been getting hit in my nose pretty hard. So, yeah, I'm wearing the mask for protection. Are there any additional questions for Jazz? I don't see hands raised here. Um, if you could please raise your hands, that would be great. Jeff Magliocchetti. Hi, Jasmine. Thanks for joining us again. Um, this has been an interesting week in the bubble, to say the least. So the question is, once we get out of the bubble, hopefully next season, how can the WNBA and the Liberty and the Liberty as a team continue to spread the message of social justice and societal change? Well, hopefully if we're out of this bubble, we could do a lot more. We can't do a lot. We can, we can do a lot, but we can't physically do a lot when we're in the bubble. Like, if we're not in this bubble, we can go out, we can pro protest and things of that nature. So just hope and pray that we're not in this same position next year. Thank you. Carolyn Peck. Hey, Jasmine. Through everything that has gone on, and you talk about the mental um, drain this is on you guys, but can you feel and see the improvement that's come along? You demonstrated it in the Chicago game. You gave the Aces a handful. Uh, and if so, what, where are the main areas you see the improvement? Uh, we're playing, we're putting, we're trying to put together all four quarters. Um, I think we're doing a better job of that. We, we're playing hard every single night. Uh, we're leaving it all out on the court. Uh, we just have to get better with taking care of the ball and, um, and not giving up offensive rebounds, so. Thank you. Ben Rosoff. Yeah, Jazz, um, I have a question from Jackie Powell, who couldn't make it today. Um, <clears throat> just in that game against Chicago, that win that you guys had, um, Kylie had a tough start against Ruthie Hebert and Cheyenne Parker in the post, but, and, and coach told us that you got to her and, and told her, some stuff to get her juiced up. Just can you tell us about generally what kind of you said to her and, and what you saw change from that point on? Uh, well, what I said to Kylie is between me and Kylie. And, but I know, I know how to get to Kylie and I know how to make her play harder. And I know what Kylie can bring to the table. Like I will go to war with, with Kylie any, any day of the week and I know how to get her going. And I just had to say a couple words to her and I got her going. And, and she can, she can do the same to me. Like, she can do the same to me. We have that mutual respect for each other because we've known each other for five years now. So, and we've been playing each other, with each other for five years now. So we just have that mutual respect with you know, one another. 
Last question, Rafiq Lewison. Hey, so the team is literally like three and a half games out of the last playoff spot. We literally just seven games to play. Like, what is the team doing in order to like have a much better performance? Especially since you gave up only eight point, 80 points in your loss against the Las Vegas Aces. Like, like, like I said, we're just trying to get better every single day and, and watching film um, and just trying to improve on our mistakes that we made in the game before. Thanks, Jazz. Uh, next, we're going to have Kylie Shook. And if you have questions for Kylie, we will start with Jeff Magliocchetti. Hi, Kylie. Thank you for joining us today. It's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not often that second round picks in the WNBA have such an immediate impact on their team in the early going of their rookie seasons. What, how have you been able to make a difference on this team and where are you looking to improve most over these final two weeks of the season? Um, I would say I just um, would like to bring my defense. I'm getting better at that. Playing at the pro level is definitely different than college, but um, spreading the floor, spreading the floor, um, rolling to gather people in the paint so we can kick out. But I would say I need to work on contact because um, not used to playing, uh, I mean, pro athletes. So uh, it's definitely a change and it's definitely something that I have to get better at using my body and just kind of calming down at this level because it is a faster pace. Thank you. Ben Rosoff. Yeah, Kylie, just, just throughout this whole period of, of kind of, you know, social injustice, uh, activism, just can you kind of take us as a rookie through what that experience has been like this week and, and what you've kind of learned about your team throughout all this? Um, this week's actually been very powerful for me to actually take a step back and look at what these women do and in this league and how hard they fight. Um, so just watching my teammates like Leja, Zowie, how they speak up um, has been really impactful to me. Just kind of sit back, observe, see what I can do to help them and listen to everybody, how we can solo, like individually impact the world when we're outside of the bubble, when we're in the bubble, how we can all gather 144 players, stand up for what we all believe in and um, I just, um, the world's, world's kind of in an interesting spot, but I think it's very impactful to me to watch these people fight for what they believe in and to be a part of that. Rafiq Lewison, and a reminder, if you have questions, please raise your hand for Kylie. Hey, Kylie. Um, so, Breonna Jones from the Connecticut Sun is averaging a mere 57.8% shooting from the field. Like, what is your team doing in order to minimize the shot transfer in order to get the win tomorrow? Um, push her out. She's, she uses her body very well. She rebounds very well. She's definitely a, a glue piece for them. So try to minimize her touches. Um, and when she does get touches, have them be difficult and then pack the paint and box her out, rebound, because she is a very good shooter, as you mentioned. So when she gets it, odds are you got to definitely pack down on that. Carolyn Peck. Kylie, going back to the Chicago game, you had a, a big impact in that second half, and uh, I believe you got a block or an and one, and your team went nuts, but you never change expressions. Um, is that how you've always been, just kind of stay level-headed, not get too high, not get too low? Uh, yeah, half and half. I think half of it was I'm, I'm really just trying to calm down and – take the game step by step because it is such a fast pace and um, getting used to it. But um, yeah, <laughs> uh, half and half, yeah. Sometimes I get super excited. Jazz hypes me up. <laughs> but um, other times, yeah, I keep a straight face. <laughs> and to go along with that, what does Jazz do to get you hyped up? It depends. Like if I'm, if I'm not playing my best, she... She yells at me. She gets on me, but uh, it's all tough love. I mean, she knows what I can do. It's not It's not like an angry get on me, but it's like, I know what you can do. You can do this. And so then I'm like, yeah, like, she's there for me. She, she's been here through my entire journey. So she always has my back. So I listen to her when she gets on me. She listens to me when I get on her, and she just fires me up. And if I could ask one more question, how nice is it to have somebody with you going through this that you – have not only played with in college, but going through your rookie season. Yeah, it's very comforting. Um, 
especially at the beginning when we were all learning the same plays, all going through the same thing, and then especially being in this bubble um, and having this whole experience going on around us, um, having being able to have somebody who we're already close with, who we can already, already comfort, already, already know. We know if she walks in or I walk in and we seem upset, we know how to come to each other and we feel comfortable talking to each other. So it's definitely been a very good benefit to me having her here. Thank you. Thank you. Last question, Ben Rosoff. Yeah, Kylie, we, we spoke to your former uh, Cardinal teammate, Maisha Hines Allen, and she noted that like something she remembers from her rookie season was just having to like slow the game down a little bit to just to get adjusted. So just I'm wondering how have you kind of worked this season on getting the game to slow down a little bit? To be honest, I'm still struggling with it, but um, no, it's definitely much faster, much more physical. So when I do get in the post and then I get people gathered around me, I just have to stay composed and know what I'm doing, know that what I practice is going to relate in the game and just getting reps outside of practice. It is kind of difficult right now um, because of the whole situation, but um, just staying calm and watching film, I think has been the big thing to see what I could have done in certain situations or watching my vets, how they do it, how they get around people has been a big one too. So when I'm on the bench, I'll just watch them, see what, how they're impacting the game and then go in and see how I can impact it in the same way. Thank you, Kylie, and thank you all. We will send the recording shortly. Thank you.